Bruce looked through the window in the door and observed the creature as it feasted. Though he was skinny, the creature was still a fearsome sight to behold, with pale blue skin, bear-like fangs, clawed hands and feet, spurs jutting from the back of its ankles, a long tail tipped with spines, and those eyes, the eyes which always seem to blaze with intelligence and mad hilarity. The creature had a skinny build which made him look like a weakling, but in actuality, he was a powerhouse. He was much stronger than he looked and could easily take down a professional fighter in seconds. He also had fantastic energy powers that enabled him to fire energy blasts and cloud the minds of others, possibly including terrifying hallucinations. He had a cunning mind which enabled him to use his powers and abilities to the fullest, though his mind was also warped. The scars on the creature's chest, remnants of self-inflicted wounds, were ample evidence of the creature's madness and lack of restraint. Bruce could see the seal on the creature's forehead, the symbol spelling the Hebrew word for friendship. He flashed back to the day he reluctantly joined with Joel for his mission. Joel had called the creature to order to help them. The creature told Joel that he'd be happy to help, but was worried that he might flip out. In response, Joel had dipped his finger in ink and written the word upon his forehead. He explained that it was a reference to both Proverbs 18-24, to A man that have friends must show himself friendly, and there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother, and John 15 to 15a. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his master doth, but I have called you friends. The creature had been okay after that, working along with Joel every step of the way. Bruce's face contorted into a wicked grin. He had worked together with Joel for the mission, but he now considered their alliance over. Joel would regret leaving him alone with the creature. He thought, with the creature still subdued, he would take control of him and use him for his own sinister purposes. Bruce boldly entered the building, slammed the door shut, and locked it. The creature stopped eating his sixth layer sandwich and looked at him. Upon sensing Bruce's ill intent, he began glaring at him. Without hesitation, Bruce told him, You're mine now, you ugly monster, ignoring the rage welling in the creature's eyes. He continued, I'm taking control. With that seal on your forehead, you're prevented from attacking. So now, you're going to do just what I tell you. The creature sat in silence for a moment, and then gave a laugh. It started out as a laugh of amusement. But then, sadistic glee began bubbling up through it. Bruce stared in surprise, and finally the creature stopped laughing. Grinning wickedly, he pointed his forehead and asked, Did you really think this seal has some power to prevent me from using my powers? I'm not a genie or anything. You see, Joel helped me out in my time of need. Something I'm grateful for. Neither one of us wanted to flip out, so he drew this symbol on my forehead as a reminder of our friendship. 
It never had mystic powers over anything like that. It was just a reminder of my gratitude and his compassion. It worked only because I didn't want to hurt Joel. He licked his hands to moisten his fingers. It's useless to protect someone I want to hurt. Bruce quivered and stared in horror as the creature laughed, whipped the ink off his forehead, and began approaching him.